Game started. Oh, Morak. From what country is that? Argentina. Okay, starts off with c4, the English opening. Just play knight f6, see what he does. Let's go for symmetrical setup. And the early d4. Let's see. d5, rather. I play d5, he takes, I take with a knight, knight takes, queen takes. I think I can get away with it here. And if he plays bishop to g2, oh, I didn't. <clears throat> I was just going to take the knight. So now what kind of setup do I want? Do I want to develop my knight? Probably. And uh, But uh, I also want to play bishop to uh, g7 and be able to castle. Oh, he's just going to leave the knight there and ask me how long, how long I want to stay there. I think it's okay. Knight takes, queen takes, uh, but his bishop is not yet protected, so there's no... There's no really great discoveries there just yet. So I'm going to develop my bishop to g7. He castles now. Let's, uh, let's resolve the situation with the knight. The bishop was protected now, so there may have been potential discoveries there that would be a little bit tricky to deal with. So he's got pressure along this light squared diagonal towards my rook in the corner. I'm going to play knight c6 anyway. Maybe knight c6, queen c7, b7. Yeah, he's, he's already piling up there. Knight c6, queen c7. He's, you know, his rook on uh, b1 it coordinates with the bishop on uh, g2 very nicely to hit, it, to hit the b7 square. So if I can get away with it, queen c7 to protect the knight, then b6 here to get a solid wall of pawns here, and then bishop to b7 to oppose his uh, bishop. And that would be my ideal setup, if I can if I can somehow get away with it. Let's see, his bishop might be coming out at some point. He can play bishop a3. Oh, he's just going for a uh, central setup here, keeping my knight out of these squares. So I get I get to play bishop b7. I think I should be okay here. I think I've survived the opening. <clears throat> and neither side has claimed the center. Ah, now he kicks the queen. Okay. Uh, maybe. Can I play um, e5 here? e5. He's got two pieces attacking at the knight and the bishop, and I have three people defending it. But the knight is kind of pinned here. But even with just two pieces... Um, I think I can get away with this. Oh, he can attack with the the um, the d pawn. He can play d4 here, attacking the pinned pawn. Or he just takes it. Okay. Because yes, he can take it because um, the knight's pinned. If I play bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes. Then the my knight is hanging. <laughs> okay, good. I guess he had calculated that before uh, before playing bishop f4. So let's see. He probably has some great discoveries here with his knight. Huh? He can play knight takes f7. He's probably just calculating what's what's the best way to play knight takes. Yeah, that's that's the best way to play. <laughs> okay, so I have to move my queen, and my uh, rook is hanging. Hmm. 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 Is there any clever queen move uh, I've got here? Don't really see it. So I've lost a pawn, two pawns, and the exchange. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> a pretty bad result from the opening. Oh, uh, well. Okay, so he's continuing to pile up on my poor knight there. I will defend it. He left his pawn hanging for a moment. I might as well take it and <laughs> get a pawn back at least. <laughs> um, the only thing about losing the exchange is your opponent has a, a rook and you have an extra minor piece. So as long as his rook is not actively playing, um, you, you still have some chances.
That's funny. So well, he is getting his rick into the game, but it kind of lets me take this pawn, which I was tempted to do anyway. There's probably some, some horrible check on my king here or something. <laughs> no, I don't see it. I don't see it at the moment. Okay, he just drops his bishop back to allow his queen to come over. Yeah, but that check is actually covered by my queen. Let's see. Well, so I can take the exchange back. Is that safe? Queen here, check. Yeah, I don't see why I shouldn't just take his rook. I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Server uh, let's see. So what's the damage? I, I'm now just one pawn down after being down a whole exchange on two pawns. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And he also has the bishop pair. So he has a pawn and the bishop pair, which is, is good. That's a good advantage for white. Um, this has got two pieces attacking it, but three defending it. So my queen's free to move here. Where's a good square for the queen? I, I'm not sure why he wants a rook on the uh, e1 square. It's kind of mysterious to me. Hmm, maybe I should put my rook somewhere else. Oh, I know. I should, I should just move the knight and trade off. Uh, okay, so he's going to go for some kind of uh, check here, maybe. I'm just going to block with my queen if he does that. Check. Maybe he wants to trade into an endgame and, and claim that he's winning this endgame. Could be. Um, but yeah, he should play. He should play the middle game here, right? Because I have all these holes around my king. That's that's got to be good for something. Okay, so I got to find a square for the knight. He's got a dark squared bishop. Ah, he's going to grab another pawn. Okay, I can bring my knight to d6. And um, be nice if I could control the. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't wonder if I I don't really want to give up that pawn if I don't have to. Maybe I can defend. No, I can't defend the knight with the rook because he's got bishop to um, f4, chasing my rook away. Queen here, and he could just go back and check me. Ah, huh, I brought his uh, bishop there. So if I play rook here to chase his queen away, he can go to the back rank. Okay, but I want this uh, knight to go somewhere. Oh, but if I move the knight, once again, I'm, uh, I'm losing a pawn. So let's let's make a move. <clears throat> okay. I'm not sure why he doesn't just play bishop to uh, f6. Ah, oh, I see. His uh, his knight was protected by his bishop. That's what the bishop is doing here. It's protecting the uh, rook on c1. Okay. So I block with the knight. Got my knight out of that weird square. Now I have a uh, rook to uh, e8, maybe chasing his queen away. Yeah, now he goes here, <laughs> bishop to. Uh, yeah, that's that's a very dangerous move, right? It takes away uh, all these squares. But uh, where is his queen going after rook? Here. I mean, isn't he losing the bishop on? Um, F6. Okay, he sacks the exchange. I have to take with the pawn. I need to keep my uh, <laughs> my rook defended. Still, I don't see where his queen is going. I don't see it. His queen's going there. Okay, he's going to take a bunch of pawns, but I'll have a queen and a rook for a bunch of pawns. Hmm. 
this shouldn't be should not be playable really for um, should not be playable white resigns okay he resigned yeah I was gonna say I just need to take a pawn here and then come to the back rank and uh, um, okay so interesting game I guess I will upload this into a postmortem um, see you guys later bye